We're getting ready to go to see the uh, Aliens sequel. It's called Aliens Romulus. And so I just want to review Aliens, one of the greatest films and sequels uh, in all of film history. Aliens is an odd sequel, first off, because it's not actually directed by the original director from the previous movie, Alien, by Ridley Scott. Nor is it even kind of in the same main genre as Alien is. Alien, most people agree, is a horror slash sci-fi film, whereas the movie Aliens is much more of an action sci-fi film with a bit of horror mixed into it. It's directed by James Cameron, the same guy who directed Terminator, Terminator 2, and Titanic. And more recently, the younger folks are probably familiar with the Avatar series of films. But the sort of impact Aliens has had on pop culture, in addition to it being just a great movie, is something that can't be understated. If you played games like Halo, it was heavily inspired by. The Marines are straight up one-to-one -one with Sergeant Avery Johnson basically being the same as the drill sergeant in Aliens. Their uniforms are similar. Some of the mannerisms and attitudes of the characters were prevalent in the game as well. You look at games like StarCraft, the pilot, and the medevac literally is quoting the female pilot when she, they're bringing the dropship down from the main ship down to the surface of the planet in the pipe, five by five. Another interesting fact about the movie, the alien queens, hydraulics and everything, were actually something that ended up being used for Jurassic Park's T-Rex a few years later. More interesting than any of the trivia really is just the fact that this film is an incredible masterpiece. It is a five-star action film. And it's infinitely rewatchable, even, you know, all this time later, almost 40 years since the original came out. So many great quotes, so many memorable shots and set pieces, music, visuals of things like the power loader, the iconic pulse rifle, the memes, you know, things like the game over, man. Get away from her, you bitch. I say we nuke it from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Aliens is ultimately, though, at its core about the idea of motherhood. It starts off with Ripley realizing that everyone she's ever cared about is gone as she's been frozen for a hundred years her daughter is gone and so when the movie introduces newt she instantly attaches to her similarly i'm guessing to how her daughter's age was free her getting frozen and sent out into deep space for her rigging operation that ended up being you know the precursor for the first movie the alien queen basically being a mother and facing off against sigourney weaver at the end and a power loader armor to kind of put them on equal physical footing or as equal as you can be with a giant walking monster creature immune to the vacuum of space with acid from blood and multiple mouths inside. But I digress. Aliens is a film that I simply must recommend for anybody. It doesn't even matter if horror is not your thing. It is, again, a quintessential action film. The horror does play a part, and you know, if you're really squeamish, I guess, don't watch, but it's not even as horrific as the first one's depiction. If you've not seen it, uh, oh my God, what are you doing? You need to watch it especially before you go see Alien Romulus. There's actually some shots in the trailer for Romulus that are one-to-one -one depictions as to the shots that existed in Aliens. I believe there's one where Sigourney Weaver's character is getting ready to try and go get Newt, or a little gate opens up and the camera pans up and the wind's blowing in her hair and she's sweaty. And they depict that at one point in the trailer. That's the kind of stuff that signals to me that they're not just going for nostalgia, but like they understand what's important. Similar to how the show Andor recreates some exact camera moves from the original Star Wars. It's not seeing Luke holding a lightsaber that should be important. It's seeing camera moves and shots and themes that really should matter to people who are fans of the original. But, you know, that's a whole other discussion. Anyway, uh, go watch Aliens. What are you doing if you haven't seen it? Um, if you've watched it, watch it again. Uh, watch it before go seeing Romulus, and hopefully I'll have a review for that one up here soon.